just uh, fix your live stream, settle in, and I'll come up with the first question in less than 10 seconds. Thanks to around 70 of you who have joined me today. Appreciate your time. With so many quizzes happening everywhere, uh, really appreciate your presence here today. Well, there is a chat window on, uh, on YouTube, but please don't reveal the answers on the chat window. Feel free to chat with me there. If I've said anything wrong, you can correct me there. Uh, you can drop some extra facts if you want, but please don't reveal any answers there. So with all that said and done, here's the first question and best of luck to everybody. Twenty-three of you got that right. It is indeed Kit Harrington. Well, the question, the answer to the question is actually uh, John Snow, the father of modern hygiene, anesthesia, and epidemiology. And John Snow is also a character played by Kit Harrington in Game of Thrones. So that's the funda there. Good job, twenty-three of you who got that right. Moving on to question number two. And let's see who the early leaders are: QED, Anshu, Asim. Just want to remind you guys once again that make sure that you notice that your live stream is as live. That means the red button should be there next to red button should be there next to the live word on the stream. Tamal tells me also the sports personality. Yes, John Snow used to play cricket for uh, England. Here's question number two coming up for you guys. Twenty-nine of you getting that right. Uh, it's indeed a graphic novel, which was written in uh, in French. Uh, Snowpiercer's again become quite popular on the streaming networks after uh, Parasite won the Oscars this year because both films are made by the same director, South Korean director Bong Joon-ho. That's twenty-nine of you getting that right. It's a graphic novel. Other films from graphic novels. Uh, I think a Fight Club is one of them. Uh, yeah, Watchmen as well. Fight Club, Watchmen. I was gonna say one more. Uh, yeah, blue is the warmest color. So Rohan climbs up 62 places. Good job, Asim and Tipsy Raikun in a second and third. Venki's fourth. Pranjal is fifth. Here's the next question for you guys coming up. Question number three. Tamal says V for Vendetta. Yes, V for Vendetta as well. Most of you get that right. It is indeed the foot, uh, American football player O.J. Simpson who was originally considered for the role of Terminator. Uh, eventually, ir and ironically, uh, O.J. Simpson was rejected because uh, the producers thought that O.J. Simpson was too good a guy to kill people and uh, that turned out to be false many years later. So good answer by all of you who got that right. Uh, 35 of you fact. Asim moves up to first, Supratim so climbs 39 places. Here's the next question for you guys, question number four.
23 of you getting that right? Uh, the answer is rugby. Well, the story goes that uh, a rugby game was happening between Wales and New Zealand. And you know the New Zealand team, uh, they didn't play a national anthem, but uh, they did the haka, uh, so to sort of intimidate the Welsh team. And in response, what the Welsh did was stand and listen to the national anthem to motivate themselves. And that's how national anthems came, came out in sport. Good answer by the 23 of you who got that right. And QED, Venki, Niz, Akriti, they all move up. That's the top four. Here's question number five. Only 10 of you get that right. It is Dwight D. Eisenhower, the American president from 1953 to 1961. A really interesting thing is that every president since then has had a daughter. Uh, quite an interesting thing. Uh, 10 of you get that right. And Venki moves up to first. Who Light moves up to third. Tough round. Uh, many people got this wrong clearly. Uh, here's question number six. The answer is Ian Fleming, the author of James Bond, uh, the original James Bond series. Uh, so Ian Fleming decided to write a book for his kid as well because his kid couldn't really read the James Bond stories. So the famous story Chitty Chitty Bang Bang was written by Ian Fleming. One of the options here, Roald Dahl, uh, I can see why many of you went for it. Well, Roald Dahl wrote the screenplay for the film uh, Chitty Chitty Bang Bang but not the book. Uh, 29 of you get that right. Ian Fleming it is. And Niz moves up to second. Asim's fourth. Kaus moves up 14 places. Here's question 7 for you guys coming up. Over 50 of you get that right. It is IKEA. Well, it's uh, quite a smart uh, natural guess that IKEA is the answer. Well, yeah, IKEA, the creator of furniture and so on, uses 1% of the world's wood which is produced every year, which is a staggering amount, in fact. Uh, that shouldn't really change the leaderboard, one reckons. And no, not really. Who lied moves up to fourth. OG moves up fifth. Venki Nexus has a 2,500 point lead. Uh, very impressive. Here's question number eight coming up for you guys. Expecting a lot of correct answers here and as expected, 44 of you get that right, it is indeed Papua New Guinea. In fact, uh, this, is a, this consists of around 12% of the known languages in the world come from one country, uh, Papua New Guinea. Coming in second, a close second with around 720 languages is Indonesia. 
But yeah, Papua New Guinea, south of Indonesia, uh, is the correct answer for by 44 of you. PNJ Terry moves up to fourth, and Bin Laden has an answer streak of three. Here's question number nine for you guys. Winston Churchill is the right answer. Well, authors C.S. Lewis and Aldous Huxley and the American President John F. Kennedy were all died on 22nd November 1963, uh, but Winston Churchill did not. Uh, when C.S. Lewis and Aldous Huxley died, they were quite big in their own right, but the death of the news was quite overshadowed for that whole week. People did not know they had died because the assassination of John F. Kennedy also took place on the same day in Dallas. Uh, that's around half of you, or less than half of you, who got that right. And QED moves up to second, Rohan's third, uh, Nishan Solo is fifth, but uh, Venki Nexus keeps on extending his lead. Here's question number 10 coming up for you guys. Question basically says which country lies above 100,000 meters above sea level in its entirety? The whole country is 1,000 meters above sea level at least, and it's the only country in the world to do like that. Just a reminder to all guys who are playing: uh, make sure you're as live as possible, because uh, we're well well the quiz. You guys might have dropped off the live stream by a bit, so ensure you are live at all times. quite a split but the answer is Lesotho. Uh, the whole country lies 1000 meters above sea level and it's the only country of that of its kind in the world. Uh, good job 15 of you who got that right. Looks like they stumped the leader but not Rohan. Rohan the second, Pushkar's fourth, Icarus is resurrecting to fifth. Uh, good job to all of you. Here's question number 11 for you guys coming up. This is a question about Buzz Aldrin. Century there for 50 of you got it right. Well, yes, it's appropriate that Buzz Aldrin, the second man to walk on the moon, his mother's maiden name was it also Moon. Good answer by all of you who got that right. Uh, looks like the top five stays the same. Here's question number 12 coming up for you guys. So 21 of you get that right. It is Steve Bruce of Manchester United, who was the first captain to lift the English Premier League trophy. A really interesting fact about the English Premier League is that no English manager yet has won the Premier League. That's a quite interesting trivia. Uh, none of the English Premier League winning managers are English so far. Pushkar moves to second, Icarus is third, Pranjal's fifth, and Venki Nexus keeps, keeps his lead at the top. This is a question about a legal strategy that where a person facing direct evidence of guilt simply claims that it just wasn't them. What is this or who is this legal strategy named after?
only 15 of you get that right. It's called the shaggy defense, shaggy from Scooby-Doo, uh, where a person, when you're shown evidence that you are guilty, they simply say it wasn't them. It's a shaggy defense it is. Do read up about it. It's quite interesting. Uh, that's around the halfway stage of the quiz. 13 questions done, and Icarus moves up to second, Pranjal's fourth, and Deepanshu is making a comeback with three in a row. Remember, guys, to make sure your live stream is as live as possible. This is a question about hentai. For those who don't know what hentai is, you're probably a bit too young in that case. So hentai is a Japanese word for sort of uh, pornography in art, pornography in comics, in Japanese culture and the answer, the word hentai actually means abnormal because uh, a lot of depictions are not between a human, not between two humans, uh, it's often between humans and other creatures. So abnormal is the correct answer which, which is what the word hentai means. 16 of you got that right. Uh, and looks like top two missed it. So Tipsy Raikkonen moves up to third. Uh, would love to know in the comment section if there are some things, uh, um, some things uh, you guys enjoy. Well, Arnold uh, clarifies that, yeah, uh, my bad, Arnold. It is not uh, the character uh, Shaggy uh, from the com cartoons. Uh, it is actually sh Shaggy from the song It Wasn't Me. Uh, my bad, a uh, bit of a brain fade there. Thanks for the clarification. Here's the next question coming up for you guys. Question number 15. M&M chocolates is the correct answer. Well, you know the shells of these M&M chocolates are multicolored. So in France, beekeepers feed bees M&M chocolates. And um, that's how the honey is also different colors like red, dark blue, and so on. Uh, good answer by 23 of you who got that right. And Tipsy Raikkonen moves up to just within 200 points of the leader. Icarus is third, Pushkar is fourth, Pranjal is fifth. Here's question number 16 for you guys coming up. Getting sledged by Wise Crab uh, on the chat window. <laughs> 39 of you get it right. It is indeed knife. So, stilettos are those uh, heels with a very sort of thin stick sort of thing to keep your uh, give uh, balance to your heel. It actually means knife or dagger in Italian. Stiletto. Uh, originally, stiletto was a sort of knife or dagger in Italian culture and the word for the shoe was adopted from there. 39 of you get that right. And Tipsy Raikkonen has taken the lead after a persistent sort of push towards the top. Pranjal is fourth, Rohan is fifth. Here's question number 17 coming up for you guys.
It was Rowan Atkinson, the actor. Uh, interesting story was in 2001. He was going to Kenya and yeah, the pilot fainted. So the person, one of the cabin crew announced, is there a pilot on board? And Rowan Atkinson said that he had a few hundred hours as a, as a sort of amateur pilot up his sleeve. So he got called up and he rode the flight to safety till the cabin crew recovered the pilot. And uh, this is an interesting story about Mr. Bean. 35 of you get that right. And Pushkar moves up to fourth, OG's fifth. Here's question number 18 coming up for you guys. The wise crap says that Rowan Atkinson is also an electrical engineer. I won't be surprised. He's actually quite well educated. If I remember correctly, he went either to Oxford or Cambridge, uh, one of those institutes, or at least one of these very uh, meritorious institutes. 28 of you get that right. It is the Peregrine Falcon, or what we know as the Hayabusa, uh, the Peregrine Falcon. And that's one of the reasons uh, people say is why uh, the Hayabusa bike is also named so, because it goes so fast. Good answer by 28 of you who got that right. Cheetah is not the fastest. I think Cheetah is around 8th or 9th on the list, uh, if I'm not mistaken. A type of eagle is second. Uh, the Mexican free-tailed bat is around 5th or 6th. Sailfish also, I think, is above Cheetah or it's just near Cheetah. Good answer. Uh, and uh, 28 of you get that right. And Venkin Nexus takes the lead once again. Pranjal is 4th. Here's question number 90, just letting you guys know that ensure that you guys uh, have the live stream as live as possible. Only 12 of you get this right, and it is Kinshasa in Congo, which is the city with the largest number of native French speakers. It overtook Paris around four or five years ago. I can see why many of you, why you guys went for Montreal, but uh, no, Paris is second and Kinshasa is first. Kinshasa is the much larger city as well and high, more higher population, so that's it. 12 of you get that change on the leaderboard, or not really, uh, but like looks at the top. Second, third, and fourth got that wrong, which allows the leader Venki Nexus to extend his lead. Question number 20 coming up for you guys. If you got that right, it is a South Korea, a Korean uh, sort of super actor made Dalgona coffee really popular in the world. But actually, Dalgona is a sort of brown colored uh, dessert which originates in South Korea. And Dalgona coffee sort of gets its name because the color of Dalgona coffee resembles a bit of like Dalgona. The craze of the hour, and 44 of you got that right. Good job. Pranjal moves up to third. And here's question number 21 coming up for you guys. Super Tim tells me Rowan Atkinson is also a fanatic of high-end cars like Rolls Royce and so on. Kate Winslet is the right answer. Uh, 
the only one among these to have not got an EGOT, which is an Emmy, Grammy, Oscar, or Tony. I think Kate Winslet is missing the Grammys, uh, has won the Emmy, Oscar, and Tony so far. 28 of you get that right, including the top three and top four, and Janelle is, moves up to fifth. Question 22 coming up, and just ensure that you are as live as possible. Sudan is the correct answer and most of you went for Mexico, uh, but no, Sudan is the correct answer. In fact, Egypt is second on the list of most surviving pyramids as one would expect. Uh, but if you wanted to find the world's largest uh, pyramid, you would have to go to Mexico. Sudan is the correct answer there. Around 300 something, if I remember correctly. Egypt has around 200 odd. The largest one though is in Mexico, but the correct answer here is Sudan. And that allows Janelle to move up to third. Rapid Falcon climbs up 10 places. And here's question number 23, the third last question today. So this is the question about the American Film Institute. Thirty-four of you got the correct answer. It is, uh, frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn from Gone with the Wind. Uh, I think it's said by Rhett Butler. Uh, good job. Those of you got it right. Uh, one really interesting thing is the dam in this quote uh, actually has origins from the dam or the dam which was a sort of uh, currency used in, in South Asia or near India, DAM, from where this word dam eventually came along. So I don't give a damn means I don't really give anything which comes from that currency 34 if you got that right that was question number 23 for you guys and uh, looks like Venki has kept his lead OG is fifth here's question 24 the penultimate question of the quiz Supratim reminds me that Dam was the coin which was introduced by my namesake Sher Shah. And Belize is the correct answer. Uh, 34 if you got that right. Uh, there you can see the Belize flag and it's the only country to have humans featuring as the main design elements on its flag. Before the last question guys, just want to say thank you to all of you for joining me today on this Sunday evening where you could have done so many other things but you decided to join me at 9 o'clock. Really appreciate the time you've given me today and I hope you guys enjoyed the quiz. Uh, if you guys did, please recommend the quiz to others so that they can participate whenever they want. For that, just share the WhatsApp group link, which I'm sure many of you have to them. They can also have fun along with you guys every day. Uh, being a little busy this week, so could do as many quizzes, but uh, we'll be doing more moving forward. And I'll just be dropping the WhatsApp link as well at the end of the quiz for you guys to share it with whoever you want to. And here's the last question coming up. Before that though, uh, Janelle moves up to second. Looks like first is nearly decided, but second, third and fourth 
can be decided on the last question OG's fifth here's the last question coming up for you guys And I've just dropped the chat uh, WhatsApp group link here as well. Thanks a lot, guys, for such a good set. Let's have a look at the results today. 30 of you got it right, by the way. Uh, it took Christ the Redeemer nine years to be built. It's also, I think, the newest of all these sort of uh, things. Taj Mahal took 21 years. Buckingham Palace took 23 years. And White House took around uh, 13 or 14 years to be built. And let's look at the results. Uh, coming in third today is... Janelle with 17 out of 25 right, good job. With 18 correct, we have Tipsy Raikkonen. And the winner with 20 correct is Venki Nexus. Congratulations. Let's see who came fourth. fifth today. OG was fourth, Pranjal was fifth. And I'll just show how the rest of you did so you guys can see your own results today. Uh, uh, let me just bring up that screen. So, yeah, we know who the top five are. Wenki first, Tipsy second, Janelle third, OG fourth, Pranjal fifth. Coming in sixth was Icarus, seventh was Pushkar, Rocketman was eighth, Supratim was ninth, and Spaceman was tenth. I'll just scroll down for all of you to just see your own results. And as I do that, feel free to drop off the live stream link. Appreciate you guys giving time again. I hope to see you tomorrow uh, if work really allows me. Uh, till then, see you soon.